Peggy Gluckman of Terre Haute, Indiana has one true love, Andrew Lloyd Webber's Phantom of the Opera. She has a special room in her house where she keeps all of her Phantom memorabilia, and Michael Crawford sings 24 hours a day. Her biggest wish is to see Phantom live in person, but Peggy can't. Because Peggy is morbidly obese. She's been over 400 pounds since she was 16 years old. We can help her lose the 250 pounds she needs to fit into that theater seat to see the touring company of Phantom of the Opera in Indianapolis. Excuse me. Where are you going? Well, I, I just have to go vomit, so. We're having our weekly staff meeting. Would you stop calling it that, Charlie? Staff meeting? There's two of us. We used to have 20 people in this department. Now there's two, so you can't call it a staff. But we meet every Wednesday morning have our weekly... Come on, we haven't submitted anything in over a month. That's because you hate my submissions and I hate you. I just think they're a little gloomy, that's all. Not every miracle fits on the Hallmark card, Charlie. Hey, let's look at that one-legged ballerina again. Hey, Gavin. Whose lunch did you steal today? I went with uh, Trent's. He brought some sort of organic enchilada thing. Did you see our new intern? Box delicious. Oh my god, why is there always ants crawling all over the break room? This is so gross. Not as gross as what's growing in Keaton's half finished yogurt cup in the fridge. That's not my yogurt cup. I thought you were inventing a new species of fungus. Keaton, I need to talk to you. I have to veto you a new submission. You can't veto a new submission, that's not your department. Hey Owen, you're in population control. Can you do something to control the population of ants in the break room? No. You can't add a new mosquito to the Arctic. Do you realize the potential for disease spread, food chain, ecosystem imbalance? It's a, a, a paperwork nightmare. Global warming, shifting climates. You gotta expect this curveball. I've been doing my Q3 report on the tundra all month. I have to have it in by Friday. You're gonna screw up everything. Is that Look. your yogurt cup in the fridge, Owen? I'm so sick of the tundra. Hey, do we really need a new mosquito in the Arctic? He stole my pen, one with the soft grip. Mm. I don't know what you're being so picky about. You haven't come up with a single submission in months. Jackson Hole. You wanted to kill an old man. Jackson Hole on life support. And you call that a miracle? My son's a genius. He could be the next Einstein if he just breaks free and goes to a good college. Where's the hug moment? We used to do things that had a profound effect on the world. Like when we gave Matt Damon and Ben Affleck the Oscar for screenwriting? In 1777, in the woods near Brandywine Creek, British Army Captain Patrick Ferguson had General Washington at point-blank range. He could have shot him right there. The Americans would have lost the revolution. There would be no United States of America. But he didn't shoot. Now that's what I call a miracle. But we couldn't intercede in a war without consulting population control. Owen would kill us. Out of here. Besides, the new form for wartime interventions is like 20 pages long! Hey, Sarah, how you doing? Hi. Okay? Yeah, fine, thank you. Yeah. You probably hadn't met Austin. Austin, this is Sarah. Be nice. Hi. What department are you in? Miracles. You mean like seeing Jesus' face in a tortilla? No, that's publicity. Oh, so you're more like... Um, sometimes when the odds are really stacked against something, we step in just to, you know, keep things interesting. So, are you the guys that got me into Princeton? <laughs> I can look it up. You know what miracle I always wish for? Northern Lights. I spent my whole life in Florida and never got to see them. That's why they call them Northern Lights. <laughs> anyway, would have been nice just to see them once. Noted. <laughs> Charlie? Piper gave me the axe. We had a meeting to discuss the new wall colors, and she said they're reorganizing the department. Reorganizing? <laughs> I didn't even get to show her my new paint swatches. 
She said, the walls are fuchsia and you're fired. Are you serious? Fuchsia? Yeah. Oh, God damn it. I know. <sighs> well, I guess it's just you now, Austin. So this is our hug moment. No, no, it's not. Okay. Did Charlie just get shit canned? Yep. Damn. Wow. Do you need his electric stapler? Nope. Thanks.